Hey guys, just like to ask if you could like and subscribe and comment on the video with any thoughts you might have had because it goes a long way towards helping support my channel. Thank you. Easy. She thought she could... She thought she could stop me. I bet she didn't even make me sick. She didn't even succeed in the slightest. He had overcome the darkness. I have. I really had. And I've made it to the mountain. the mountain. I have reached the mountain. Do I need to climb it too, or what? What was going on? Also, I didn't realize the mountain was going to be in the ocean. Could finally, find his sister. Why does she? Why would she be here, though? I don't understand. As far as I know, she was taken by a troll. Unless I missed something. Yeah, hey sis, I only beat like 15 folklore gods. What did you do in that time? Oh, I defeated six. Good job, sis. Is it gonna be that same like little clip face that we've been at? Oh, I was wondering when gr Brambles were going to be a thing again, considering it's the name of the game. That looks like blood. Am I able to just swim across, or what? You know, I really have swam in a river of blood, haven't I? Metaphorically speaking. You know, just, just to give my sister the best appearance possible. So is this another dream, or is this real this time? Oh, there's a flower. Was my sister the flower the whole time? Is that what it's going to turn out to be? So is Pest the final boss, or is there going to be another... Or am I, the Mountain King actually going to be here as the final boss or something? As he reached the summit, Ola felt regret. Regret that he could not stop his sister from being taken. Yeah, I get that. Regret that he could not stop the woman from drowning her child. That's fair. Shapeshifter in the forest. Uh huh. Bramble. And he wished he could ask their forgiveness. What the fuck just happened? I did it. I'm the hero. For some reason, though, this doesn't feel like a happy ending. Okay, I was gonna say, if it just ended there, that'd be the funniest shit ever. <laughs> he had reached the end that Tuva had pointed him towards. Now... Entering the halls of the mountain. Who even is Ule Tuva? Was ready to find his sister. Who's Tuva? When it comes down to it, who is she really? What am I doing? Do I need to do something? Oh, I, I, mean, I guess. Little did he know it was in a panel to the right of the painting. Oh, hey, back to the library. Was that ogre dude? Was he the real villain? Was knowledge the enemy the whole time? Hey, dude, what's up? 
Uh-huh. Yeah. I agree. Bookworm. Exhausted. Bloody. And at his wit's end, King uh -huh. Nils came to a witch's house on the outskirts of his kingdom. So after all these times of burning innocent people thinking they were witches, you finally found a real witch? He fell to his knees, begging the witch to help cure his son. Is it? And was she it agreed. The witch explained that the flower held tremendous power that could only very carefully be used for good. Uh huh. The witch instructed he only use a single petal. Using the whole bloom would only invite death. And he didn't listen, I bet. Okay, but you, I love you can just kind of see this dude in the background of the book. Just doing shit. Ulrich began to recover, but discontent at the royal line had grown in the kingdom following King Nils' bloody campaign. Uh-huh. The next day, King Nils found his son dead. And the last light holding his darkness at bay was snuffed out. Uh, so I called it? Heartbroken, King Nils turned to the bloom which had promised life, and instead saw it as an escape from his suffering. I know this is really like dark and tragic, but look at that one woman's face at the bottom. Just look at it. The witch, having come to visit the king and the prince, uh, she too looked at the nightmarish scene in despair. She raised a mountain on top of King Nils and shackled him using the same bramble that he let loose upon the kingdom. Uh huh. And then I unleashed him, maybe? And to this day, the trolls still feed him as punishment for his evil deed. Uh huh. Oh, yeah, second book. Long ago. No, I, I read that already. Okay, this is opened up. Wait. There's a thing down here. Oh. I probably could have found that earlier, but I didn't for some reason. Now what? Do I just head this way? Deeper into the library? Oh. Now what? Oh. Where am I now? Also, am I just like... Am I sick or not? I'm really unsure. Oh. Oh. Get really sad now. Where I came in at, right? Oh, sword. Little figures. Yay! <laughs> is this where it came in, or is this where it came in? Oh no, I get... What? Oh, he just doesn't do it? What? What's going on? Anything down here? Okay, I go in here, I see. Oh, oh, oh. What, am I supposed to be his son now? Is that what's going on? I'm gonna be Ulrich now. Dude, you still ain't found your sister.
What am I supposed to be doing? Oh, okay, I see. But what am I supposed to be setting the time to? There's like a dot there. And a dot there? Okay, hold on. Maybe it's in the painting, maybe? Nope. Oh, hello. Can't look in the mirror. Why can't I not go through the door? What am I missing? What am I doing wrong? Something with the clock, but what? Alright, I didn't want to have to do this, but I'm going to have to end a bramble clock. Halls of the Mountain King. Three objects dear to the king are located in this room, and each one bears a number. Okay, that's, that works. So, the goblet. The thing that's on the counter there, and the sword. Okay. Wait, hold on. Let me flip this right. <laughs> So it's just X, so 10. Ten to... Six. Um, is it in the order that they're in on here? So it'd be six to 10. Okay. I have the key. All right, let's see what's going on. Check over here real quick. Okay. So is the whole thing going to be that like the witch locked away the king because he uses that power for evil and now I'm unlocking him thus unleashing the evil, evil this whole time instead of like, you know, saving people? Is that the whole thing that's going on? Okay, maybe it is right here. Hold on. Oh, hello. Oh, he's just out of it. So is he another troll? Is that... What's going on? What's going on here? I'm gonna hide back here for just a moment. Okay. That was a good idea.
Okay, I don't know where I'm supposed to go, but... What is going on? dead there. What's going on? Uh-oh. Okay, I see. I understand. Uh-oh. 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 So what happens if I mistime that? Do my legs just get, like, fucking swept out from under me? Okay, I think I'm safe past here. Okay. Oh, there is a big-ass fucking door. Easy, huh? The gate that was meant to be closed forever now opened. I doomed the world or something. Is that it? Why is your crown like hanging above you? That's weird. Mr. Kingman, you seem like a very weird dude. Can I like shoot him? The mountain king who was meant to be hidden forever. Uh huh. Was now revealed. As long as he hasn't eaten my had sister. To reach the sack before Lilimur ended up as the giant's dinner. Okay. How do I know she has it? Ben, how do I get up? What is going on? Do I need to go around this way? Probably it. I need to go around. Dude, they let so much food go to waste for you. Um, I thought I was going this way, but maybe not. This way? What? Do I climb? Oh, I climb. Okay, that makes sense. How high can I go up this thing? Okay, that's cool and all. You know, normally these would hurt me. They're like an environmental, like, thing. Usually. Oh, but now I can just walk on them now for reasons. Well, I can't say it hasn't gotten cinematic. Honestly, I've enjoyed this a lot. It, there's a lot of things that are like really seem like really weird decisions to me, but overall, I think this has been a really good game. But why was I not allowed to just get on the flower? What? Oh. <laughs> just let me finish the game. Go on. Please. I think I'm at the end, aren't I? Come on.
You can see his bald head. Can I get on this one? Okay, I can't get on this one. Those are spikes. Maybe I'm supposed to... And then it drags me along? Uh, hello, Mr. Bramble King, sir. I thought you died. Him with the with an attack? What's going on? Uh oh. Said I'd rather eat you. What's up, dude? Oh, this is gonna be fun. Uh oh. Uh oh. I hope the music for this. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Oh, hello. Oh, I didn't realize what you were doing. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay to die in a boss fight every now and then. You got more phases. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, I may end up splitting this video just because that ending has gone on longer than I thought it would. Oh, this is fun. Whee! Alright, so his attacks will change a little bit. How do your attacks work, man? Okay, I see. Whoa! Okay, I see. That's cool. Oh, I was not looking. Okay, I can do this. Ooh. 
Ooh. Okay, I was looking. What? Where? <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, I didn't realize it was a swing back. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Did I move on to the third phase accidentally? I missed. Got it. Ah! Ooh, 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 ooh. My fault. My fault. I should have paid more attention. I'll say it doesn't seem like they're still disappearing. I have no excuses there. I don't know what happened. But it seems like they're not fully coming back, which is weird. But I looked. Ooh. All right. It's all on this side now. Ah, oh, damn it. I jumped too soon. Ah, oh, bad idea. Bad idea. Wait, okay, how does that one work? He doesn't use that one often enough. I'm not sure how he does it. Whew. Okay, what? I guess I didn't see the shadow. <laughs> Alright, this is just getting funny now. Okay, oh, okay, I jumped way too soon. them. Okay, I see. I can win this.
thought I jumped too soon there. Okay, just one more. You just need to not be an idiot. And I got this. There we go. The bramble weakened. The mountain king saw clearly for the first time in centuries. And what he saw reminded him of his beloved son. He would not lose him again. This time, King Nils would overcome the darkness. Yo, we did it. So, what about my sister? The source of the curse blossomed. Yes. King Nils tore the bramble rooted in his back and brought it all to an end. The only way to get to Lilimur now. Okay. I can do that. Let me in your mouth, sir. Achievement unlocked. The Mountain King. Let me just climb his beard real quick. Oh. Okay. What am I throwing at? Oh. Oh god, that's a fall. Some of the falls I took were way less than that. He's definitely gone. But did my sister survive? Oh, yeah, he's... That's a blood splatter right there. Yo, did she cut her way out? That's badass. Not sure how that killed the king, though. He gets granted life through the magic stone. Yay. Cool. Tuva had one last gift to give to Ole. So Tuva was the witch, right? I, I can pretty much confirm that. thing I expected to pop through that door and here I was making fun of him the whole time oh man uh, he came in clutch oh 
my god. I did not expect Lemus to be the key to victory. <laughs> oh. A nightmare woke her up. Frightened by her memories. She searched for her brother's comfort. But he was nowhere to be found. Uh-oh. Um... So this seems a lot more empty than the first time I saw it, I think. So this is like... Maybe this like shows the... Trophies I didn't get. Yeah, it looks like I missed one for sure. Maybe two. What am I missing? There's something else up here? No? Oh, I haven't looked out the window. Duh. Achievement unlocked. Home again. However, the darkness outside did not scare her. <gasps> but her brother did. Because she knew she had her brother. Oh, there we go. That's it. <laughs> Honestly, bravo to everyone that made this. I'll wait till I'm more easily heard. Okay, so I honestly I, I really did enjoy the game. I love games that can take like any sort of like folklore things, even especially when they're as well done as this. It's like compared to um some 
some more games in the past. Like this, this has been outstanding. Now, I do think a lot of the um, the decision to like have it be sort of a mixture of Resident Evil style and like kind of a little nightmare style sometimes worked out great, but sometimes was really weird and clunky. And I'm not going to touch on the narrator much again, because it's honestly a very minuscule thing. It doesn't affect much. It's not a really big deal. Um, the art sometimes looked amazing and sometimes looked really off. But when it looked amazing, it looked really amazing. But when it looked off, it was like really looking like they're, you know, really like plastic toys almost. And it was like the human models were on, honestly like the most off putting, if that makes sense. Like whenever you looked at um, Ollie or his sister, generally it was when it looked the, the most, you know, not working, I guess, the way I would put it. But overall, honestly, fun, really fun game, really creative. I wasn't always sure. I mean, I, I, I actually surprisingly predicted a lot of what happened right before what happened, which was, I, I thought was funny. Like, I'd say, zombies coming now, and then it would happen. I'd just be like, oh, damn, I didn't, I haven't seen this before. I haven't played this before. I just <laughs> was just guessing. <laughs> and I don't know, it was amusing to me, and it just kept happening. Um, I don't know what else to say. It's it like, honestly, really great game, except for a couple small things where it just, like, was overly abundantly clear what to do, and it didn't need to be explained, but they explained it anyway. Or, like, something did need to be explained, and they didn't. It, it's more like, if they were more, um, like, streamlined in how they did that sort of stuff and like sometimes the controls were more intuitive with the changing camera at certain places would have been fantastic and it is fantastic but it would have been even more fantastic but also, I really did enjoy this I had a lot of fun with this game honestly gameplay for me like I'm, I'm a story person I'm a story person when it comes down to it and I have a lot of fun entering a world like this and going through a story like this. Especially when it's not afraid to go into really, like, dark places like this one was, where some other games would have, like, not gone anywhere near as much with, like, the gore or the... or, like, the murder aspects of certain creatures, the, the witch hunts, the zombies would not have gone into as much depth as this game did. And I credit to them for that. Honestly, well done game. Glad I played it. Um, so I will see you all soon in another series. So I hope you all join me for that. Hope you all enjoyed it. this. Please um, go tell your friends to play. I don't know. <laughs> uh, keep this game close and hard if you enjoyed it, I guess. Um, shout out to the creators, everyone who worked on it. Well done. Um, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, of course. And I guess that's been it. So That was Bramble the Mountain King. I honestly would not be surprised to see a sequel pop up. It seemed like the perfect game to do that. Where they're a couple years down the line, they enter a whole host of other um, creatures deal with them so that'll be interesting to see so see you all in another video and another game maybe sometime in the future a sequel to this or something else they make keep trying to keep an eye out see you all another time bye thank you for watching if you liked what you saw please leave a like and comment and subscribe to the channel for more content thank you